Snazaroo. Loads of people hate Snazaroo, say it's rubbish, they say it's cheap, it's kids' face paint. I used to say the same thing till I learned how to use it. Um, no, it's been up here. My, my Darth Talon one, the full red mm. and black body paint, that was done entirely by Snazaroo, um, by someone who is actually a professional makeup artist. She was the one who showed me how. So for most people, the way they would use Snazaroo is they'd get their paint, they'd get their water, dip the brush in the water, mix it in the paint and go for it. Or sponge in the water, paint, go for it. Wrong, as I discovered. I've been doing it wrong for years. The way she suggested, and it works, is you get one of these, so just a spray bottle, we get these in our travel sections because they're good for taking liquids on planes. You do that just so the top of it's moist and when you're rubbing off paint, you don't want to put more water on there until when you're putting paint on, you are getting nothing left. So as you can mm -hmm. see, it does go for quite a while. The more water that's in your paint, the easier it is for that paint to reactivate. So the second you start sweating, your paint is going to come off basically. Um, using it like that, we managed to do an entire body cover and it lasted, <laughs> hey, there it is. Mm. That lasted pretty much all day. The only places that came off were places like around the underwear and around the bra straps and things where it rubs because there's very little that you can do to stop that. The best way, I need to wash myself too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun. Um, the, there's a couple of ways you can use to seal Snazaroo. Um, one of them is powder. So we use, there's loads of brands. We use this one by Cryolan, which is a theater company anyway. Um, when you're buying it, make sure the powder is translucent because a lot of uh, beauty powders have color in it to try and match your skin and your foundation. Translucent powder is essentially clear. So when you put it on, it might look a little bit white for a while, but once you dust it down, it ends up going clear. It doesn't change your paint color. And that acts just as a barrier so that anything that touches you is more likely to wipe off the powder or it acts just to remove the friction so it doesn't rub it off. An easier one is hairspray, which is super cheap and there is no reason in this at all. Oh, 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 there goes Jack's mirror! That's right, throw stuff at the audience. It's all good. Uh, yeah, hairspray. It doesn't need to be expensive. Hairspray, the cheap stuff, is basically glue in a can. That's all you need. It's just another layer on top of the paint to stop it going. Um, the best stuff you can use is fixing sprays. Um, they are alcohol based, so they uh, seal the paint in better. You can get um, pump action bottles like that, which for smaller butts is fine. If you're doing a lot of large body stuff, they also do it in aerosol cans. And the good thing about using an aerosol can is when you're spraying it on, those ones can leave little dots where larger droplets will have hit your skin and that can discolor it. Aerosol cans don't. So it basically depends on how much money you want to spend. Uh, da, 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 da. What next? Uh, Jack's already covered grease paint a little bit, but we'll do some more. Grease paint, it's oil based, so it's really, really easy to mix. It's great to blend. You blend it on your skin generally instead of in the pot, so you know exactly how it's going to look. If you've got dark or black skin, this is probably also the best stuff that's going to cover your skin because with white and snazaroo, we tried it on our friend Amala. It hmm. doesn't work, it ends up going really grey and horrible and it just, it ended up making her look kind of zombie rather than white, so it didn't work. We, who were we trying to do it for? Um, from Naruto. Oh, from yeah, Naruto, Naruto yeah. yeah. That's what we were trying to do. Um, and it ended up just making her look a little bit zombie-esque. This stuff, however, does work. We tried it on her and it works. Um, instead of uh, sort of just sitting on your skin, this stuff acts a little bit like just a big barrier. Which also means if you go out in the sun and you're wearing this, you're going to get tan lines in that shape, so be a bit careful. <laughs> um, so yeah, it blends on your skin, which means sometimes people will look at a snazaroo, they'll put it on and realise it doesn't actually look the same when it mixes with my skin colour. That stuff, when you layer it up, will look the colour it looks in the pot. Downside, like I said, it doesn't dry. This is an oil-based thing, it's what they use in theatres to give really thick colour that will stay on under light. So even when you sweat, it sounds horrible, but the sweat goes through the paint and sits in little beads <laughs> on top of your paint so it doesn't come off. Uh, the only way you can seal this stuff, you can't use sprays on it because sprays always have a bit of water in and water will just float. You have to use powders on it. Um, the best brushes to use for these are these huge ones, like just kabuki brushes. And oh, <laughs> uh, kabuki brushes. You dip it in the powder, you tap off the excess because a lot of powder sticks to these. Nothing. You found my cocaine brush. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how do you like it? <laughs> Touching your face. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that will 
seal up your paint. Um, Alcohol-based body inks, they are probably the best ones if you need all day wear. Um, there's a lady over here called Pam, she does a lot of Twi'lek stuff for the Star Wars community. If she puts on uh, alcohol body inks on a Thursday of a convention, it's still perfect on the Sunday, despite her having showered each day. Hmm. This stuff needs alcohol to come off, so water doesn't remove it. Um, there's Jack. Um, <laughs> The downside is, like anything alcohol-based, it dries your skin out, so it's something you have to test to make sure your skin can handle it, but this stuff will stay on. Unfortunately, a bottle about that size costs like $30 minimum. Wow. Uh, there's a company called Real Creations that's here in the US that uh, sells this stuff. It's probably the best place to get it from as well. The more you, uh, the more you need, the more you have to spend, unfortunately. The good thing about that stuff is you can airbrush it on. So if you're doing anything that's got gradients to it, that's really good to use. Um, airbrushes you can get on eBay for maybe 50 bucks, around about that. Um, so yeah, it's really good, but really expensive. We don't really use it. I've used it for tattoos, fake tattoos once or twice. That's about it. The best stuff we've used recently, though, um, we've only started recently using it, is PAX, which I mentioned earlier. So uh, PAX is prosthetic adhesive and uh, any acrylic paint, just craft store acrylic, and you mix it in a 50-50, you mix it, and the color you see in the pot is generally the color you will get on your skin, and it sticks on, uh, you pat it on with sponges, don't use brushes, it will destroy them, use cheap sponges. And once it's on, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's another one you have to powder, because it does stay a little bit sticky, but it will stick to your skin, it sticks to uh, latex, um, prosthetics, and headpieces, and things like that. <coughs> Um, it also, if you've got seams, like when I do, no, it's not there. When I do my sari, obviously I've got a seam around there. It helps the seam stick down as well, so it's really useful for that. Unfortunately, the downside with um, prosthetic adhesives is that once it's on your skin, it stays in that shape. So as you go in and outside and that your skin is getting hotter and cooler and expanding and contracting, the paint doesn't, and you end up with this really nice sort of lizardy feeling skin. Mm -hmm. And I was having people, I was going up to people going, touch me, touch me. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes your skin feel a bit strange. Luckily, as we found out, it doesn't show in photos. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're the sort of person who's weirded out by that, be aware of it. Don't put it all over your face. I did, it was really unpleasant. Definitely don't put it near your eyes or anywhere like that because prosthetic adhesive does bond to hair, so it will bond to your eyelashes and eyebrows. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but it's a really, really good paint. It stays on all day possibly too long if you want to take it off at the end of the day. Uh, it's another one you need to use a remover for. If you are in a pinch, you can use nail polish remover like I did, but it's not the most pleasant thing. It stings, it's not great, but it gets it off if you really need to remove the stuff. <laughs> um, and the last one is, uh, it's one I don't like mentioning, but feel I have to because people do still use it, is latex body paint. So latex body paint is the sort of stuff you can get it online, you can get it in sort of sex shops, I guess. <laughs> it's the most common place you're gonna get it. Um, and loads of people li uh, like using it and see it used online because it does create a solid color on your skin. Um, it stays on, unfortunately. <laughs> the downside to using latex as a body paint is latex doesn't stay the same size dry as when it's wet. So you put it on, say, your arm, and if you're unfortunate like me and have quite hairy arms, this is a really bad thing. I don't know from experience, honest. <laughs> As a liquid goes on your arm, it goes around your hairs, over your hairs, under your hairs, and then it shrinks Oof. around your hairs. Oof. Latex doesn't have a remover. You peel it off. Oof. When something contracts around your hairs and you try to peel it off, it's very similar to getting waxed. Just Except slowly. It's really hard to peel this stuff off yeah. fast. So you end up removing your hair. And not even just hair like here. If you've got like baby sort of bum fluff hair, and, like the really smooth, super peach fine hair on your face. <laughs> peach fuzz, yeah. Peach fuzz. You've got it, you know, people get it on their sort of chests and things like that. All that's going to come off. Mm. Uh, don't use latex. People think it looks like skin. It does not look like skin. It looks like you've coated yourself in latex. It's horrible stuff. The best things you can use it for are wounds. Like, I've done all this with latex and tissue this morning just because I felt like it. Um, but apart from that, do not use latex as a body paint, please. <laughs> if you really have to, cover yourself. Hey, you're going to be making a lot of trips to the sex shop. Cover yourself with <laughs> KY jelly first. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. 
it's the only way you can get this stuff off. You slather yourself in white jelly so your skin feels. Yeah, just like that. Get in there. Get in there and ask deep boy. No. <laughs> You have to slam yourself with white jelly. That acts. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> that acts as a barrier between your skin and the latex. You then put the latex. The latex essentially sits on top of that, and you can then peel it off. If it doesn't come off, you can use. <laughs> you can use fun with KY jelly. They're not done. <laughs> you can also try and scrub it off with baby oil because the baby oil tries to work its way under the latex and help it slide off. Unfortunately, if it gets on your clothes, tough. It's never coming off. If it gets on your carpets, tough, it's not coming off. If you're going to use it, make sure you cover everything and wear old clothes. Or, don't use it. That's, that's the best advice I can give. I think that's all the body paints I can think of. So if anyone has questions, yeah. I think it, I, I have a memory of this long and I didn't write it down quickly enough. What was the name of the stuff that came in the bottle that was 30 bucks? Uh, Real Creations Inks. That's alcohol ink. But yeah, it's really good because I would have to pay a ton of customs to get it back to the UK. You guys don't, so you have an advantage there. Hey, hey, do you guys have like a website or a card or our YouTube channel? Uh, we have a YouTube channel, which is this one's channel, which is Jenks the Jinx, J E N <laughs> the J I N X. Um, he's done a few um, man makeup tutorials on there. I haven't put a hell of a lot up. Um, we also have the Parley Productions Facebook group. Feel free to message that. I'm generally the one who looks at it, so I can answer any other questions you have. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. If you're doing like open flash rooms, um, what's the best method that you have to do that? Because like I see a lot of like put one layer of like toilet paper, like one side toilet paper covered in latex, and doing that. Do you have any other methods that you can use for that? That's a really cheap and easy way to do it. And if you practice enough, it can look really damn good. You can also make your own wounds out of things like silicone. Gelatin's also a really good one, like cooking grey gelatin. And you can mold that onto your skin while it's still warm, and it blends down really well. The downside is that you can't really reuse those. But they're the best ones. But if you actually look up uh, wound making online, and perhaps do it with the latex and tissue method, despite being cheap, it's probably one of the easiest ones to do. And when you practice it enough, it looks damn good. So yeah, if you want to go more expensive and try better products, feel free. But I would say keep with tissue and uh, you can use cotton wool as well. Um, and just practice with it because it gets damn good. And if you can do it for under a dollar, why not? Even then, I've even used school glue before. And I think yeah, school glue works as well. Um, that I had real heat Yeah, strong. school glue and then you peel it off and have a <laughs> red paint underneath so it looks like you're burning. Yeah. Cheap, I love doing like cheap stuff. Eddie, Eddie. Eddie, stand up. Oh, show, yeah, show up your beautiful face. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't use no <laughs> super expensive stuff for that, but no. look, his face is horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> You're horrendous. All liquid latex and grease paint. Latex and grease paint, there you go. All of it. Uh, yeah, the blue one. What, what's the drag queen technique? <laughs> See, that's the way I tend to do. And I've got really big eyebrows, but it seems to work for me. I, what's the one I use? Yeah, I use an Elmer's one, which is one that goes on purple. <laughs> because then I can actually see where I've done it. That tends to work for me. You can get um, eyebrow wax as well which goes on and you literally just blend it into your skin and it covers them completely. That's the stuff they usually use in movies. It takes more practice to do. I would personally just keep practicing with that because from looking up here, your eyebrows look smaller than mine, so you'd probably be able to manage it. actually not. I just put concealer all over Okay, well from here it looks really good. And it's working. But yeah, we use the school glue technique mostly, don't we? Well, you don't. You have tiny eyebrows, God damn it. The glue technique works for us, and then you brush it with eyebrow combs to make sure it's covered. Yeah, seems to work for us. Don't, don't latex over them. No, no, please, please, please don't. No, no. I've seen people do that. Please, no. No latex on eyebrows. Anyone else? Yes. There you go. 
I'm guessing that's something you have over here. I've never heard of that, but I'll take your word for it. You seem to know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, Got a few moments. Any other questions? I'm sorry. Down here. Kim. Oh yeah. Um, do you have any way to keep like fake blood on? Because every time I use any or try to, it always. I don't have mine with me. Uh, <laughs> Snazaroo do a really good gel blood, and it goes on and it looks like it stays wet. So even when it dries, like, it must have some sort of plastic in it. Yeah. I don't know, but it looks wet even when it stays on. You can get fake uh, fake bloods by Kryolan and stuff as well, which also look wet. Like um, they do a scab blood, I think it's called, which is like really thick, gungy blood. So it looks like it's scabbing over on you, but it, that also stays looking like it is. It's blood powder, which you can blood put powder, on yeah. and then just spray with water, and it looks like fresh blood. Yeah, that's a good one as well. Otherwise, we just use paint. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, really generally cool. speaking, like when we did our party rock video with all our zombies in it, we didn't really use fake blood for that. We got buckets full of acrylic, mixed it with water, so it was really wet, and then just got paintbrushes and went like this to people. It was the greatest thing. <laughs> we just did a call out for zombies. And, yeah. and we came out, we are like, look, we're doing a zombie video, if you want to be in it, be here at this time. And there were about 30 to 40 people turned up and they were all stood there in these clothes. Mm -hmm. like, okay, you are aware of what we're about to do to you, aren't you? We came out with these buckets and we each had a colour and went, go! And we were just these zombies. Yeah. Uh, yes. And also, even with fake blood, you should still do the when I first used it, I thought, oh, it's fake blood, not makeup. I don't have to do that. And I got a really bad allergic reaction on my face. Yeah, as we discovered, some fake bloods also stain your skin as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, definitely make sure to test it. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're not allowed to die from skin interview. You must have some pretty pictures. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Might as well move on to the next panel then. Which is, oh, like, oh, what do you want, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with the what weather? <laughs> Body paint from crumbling. Um, put it on thin. Because the thicker it goes, the easier it cracks. Um, when I do my full face paint stuff as well, I use packs like around my, the edges of my mouth because that tends to be the place that always breaks first for me. The packs doesn't crack or crumble, so that also really helps. But essentially, the thicker you put on a paint, the quicker it's going to break. So as long as it goes on thin, it should stay on. Cool. Yay! That's everyone. Woo! That's everyone. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, on to the next Woo! one.